Hey everybody, welcome to a special episode of Roto's Question. And the reason it's special today is because it's Thanksgiving. And I don't know about you guys, but I really love Thanksgiving. It's a time to be grateful, a time to spend with family, and obviously a time to just pig out, feast, have a big feast, and just enjoy ourselves and give thanks for everything that we have in our lives. So I just wanted to make a video quickly, you know, giving thanks about the things that I have in my life and what I'm grateful for and because Thanksgiving is just always a special time for me. So there's a time when I was 19 where I had to miss out on Thanksgiving and the reason this is important is because it wasn't by choice. And so I know a lot of people miss out on Thanksgiving here and there due to work or other things but to me this wasn't by choice. I much would rather have been with my family during that Thanksgiving but I just like I said, it wasn't my choice. I'm not going to go into details about that, but it's just, that's why it's always extra special to me as it, Thanksgiving is a big reminder to what my life was and what it is now and what my life could have been like had I not decided to make a change for the better. So that's really, imp it's a really important day for me. And I know it's really important for other people. Everyone have their, everyone has their own reasons for why it's important to them. And that's my reason on top of obviously the regular grateful stuff. So some of the things that I'm grateful for is, you know, I have a pretty cool family. We're all together this Thanksgiving, which is pretty rare as one of my older sisters lives in Toronto. So it's pretty cool that her and her husband are here. I'm grateful for having an amazing pet, Athena. I mean, I'm sure most of you have seen her in some of my videos or in the pictures, depending on where you follow me. I'm pretty grateful for an amazing support system. So I've met a lot of cool people that are in alignment with my values and and working on themselves and are on their own journeys that support me and I support them. So just people to be able, I'd be able to call on whenever anything I'm going through is like, hey, I need help with this. Hey, I just need to vent. Hey, like this and that. So it's just pretty cool that I have people to reach out to. I'm pretty grateful for myself. A lot of a lot of us take our ourselves for granted. And we don't really give thanks to ourselves and for what we've done for ourselves. So I'm taking this opportunity to give thanks to myself and hopefully inspire you guys to, to give thanks for yourselves as well. So with myself, I'm grateful for all the changes I have made in my life in the past few years. I'm grateful for having such an amazing mind that is just capable of thinking for itself and just able to absorb so much energy, energy information and just being in tune with my surroundings and just giving me the opportunity to learn so much and then turn around and take what I've learned and teach it to all of you guys. I'm very grateful for all of that. I'm grateful for my body, my temple, and how it's able to, I'm 31 right now and, I'm, and I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm still able to play soccer at a high level, you know, compete with a lot of these young guys and just do like a lot of things, work out, do yoga, run, just everything, keep up with my dog. And so just, yeah, I'm very grateful for my body for being healthy and having taken me this far on my journey. I'm grateful for my soul family, everyone that's connected to me in the spirit world, my soul guide, my angels, God, all of that wonderful stuff. I'm grateful for all of that. I'm grateful for Canada. So I've been here most of my life and Thank God that Canada is such a wonderful country where I've been given so many opportunities that I'm also grateful for, the opportunities to start my own business, to teach others, to say whatever I want to say without fear of being killed or put in jail because I say something about the government or, you know, just the freedom, just freedom in general. Just, yeah, freedom to do what I want whenever I want, as long as I'm not hurting anybody else. That's a very big freedom that I'm grateful for. And so I just wanted to give you guys an idea of some of the things that you can be grateful for. And so if you have food, clothing, and shelter, you're ahead of a majority of this world because a lot of people don't know that, don't have those things. A lot of people don't know where their next meal is coming from. A lot of people don't know where they're going to sleep tonight. And a lot of people don't have adequate clothing, especially here in Edmonton where it gets really cold in the winter. I mean, we all know like winter is coming. A lot of people don't have the clothes they need to stay warm. So if you have those three things, food, clothing, and shelter, 
you should be a very grateful person no matter where in the world you're watching this from. So a lot of people get down on themselves and things like that. So if you have those three things, hold your head up. You're ahead of most of the world. And yeah, so I just wanted to kind of give that contrast of, especially here in Canada, of what so many of us take for granted. So just be grateful. Be grateful that you're alive, that you made it this far. Yeah, be grateful that you made it this far. That's an accomplishment in of itself. And so to all my vegetarian friends, vegan friends, whatever, you know, it's just a picture. I thought of what picture am I going to have as a background for this video. And, you know, turkeys make people think of Thanksgiving. I myself, I'm slowly making the transition to vegetarian. And I say slowly because I really love eating meat and I do know the consequences of that. So I am making the transition. I just went to a vegetarian restaurant yesterday, tried my first veggie burger. Surprisingly to me, it was very good. So I'll be doing more of that. And so yeah, maybe at this time next year, my background will be in a garden. Who knows? So I just want to say thanks to all of you guys. I'm grateful for all of you guys that watch my videos, like my posts, follow me, all of those good stuff. Thanks for all the support. I see you guys. I see who's giving me the support and love and every little thing makes a difference. Every like every like makes a difference because then people in your circle see that. Every comment makes a difference because then people in your circle see that. So yeah, make sure to follow me on social media. Make sure to share it with people that you think can benefit from the kind of information I'm sharing because I'm just doing my best to create a better world for everybody. So yeah, check me out. All the social media links are in the comments below in the about section below. And yeah, make sure you guys let me know what you're grateful for. I want to hear your stories as well. So until next time, stay free, stay curious.